is he under pressure here? He's going to pick Harry. Harry's not played for United or Harley playing for United. How much pressure is Gareth under here? I think he's under huge pressure solely because of what happened in the last w window and games where the hungry loss really hurt, mm. really hurt him, hurt his stock, hurt the, hurt the team. And obviously choosing this squad, when you're choosing players who aren't playing, starting for their clubs, as a fan, as, as, a, as a layman on the side, you're looking at it and you think you've got to pick the form guys. But he's not doing that. He's sticking to his tried and tested, which I could understand. So now the pressure's on for them to perform. Mm. Well, to be fair, you won't get better tests than Italy and Germany. I know Italy have fallen off a cliff a little bit after winning the Euros, but one thing about it, they've got a lot of youngsters in there now. New new players, haven't they? Italy. So, you know, you can expect a lively game tonight. The midfield, if he does play for it, the back, which it looks like he's going to do, they're going to have an extra man in that midfield. It's, they try and, you know, dictate the play, won't they, Italy? Yeah. So, but I think Gareth, looking at it, I mean, Harry Maguire's, a lot of people say it's a big gamble uh, by playing a player who's not been playing on a regular basis. And if it does go wrong and he has a bit of a nightmare, Kev, then... All the pundits are going to be, what, 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 what are you doing? Why are you picking well, Harry he's Maguire? Well, he's there to be shot, isn't he? I yeah. mean... What happens I, if Harry... What happens if... Look, I don't if he has a great to, game, but, then it's a different matter. But, but, but what happens if he has a man or England get beaten? He's, you know... Uh, 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 this could destroy him. Yeah, it is. And um, look, you, you know, the the, the the naysayers will be out, you know, the, the, the sharpening the knives, won't they? Because at the end of the day, this is... Such an important game for so many reasons, especially with a World Cup coming up Just before the end left. of the year. So one after this one. Exactly, tonight. exactly. So if he doesn't play well, then it's gonna. Everyone else is gonna talk about. You've got to. You've got to leave him out and get somebody else in. Mm, mm, so mm. It, it makes it a lot more. What do you, what do you make of um, formations as well, Kev? He probably looks like he's gonna play a three tonight. Yeah. Would you chop and change? I mean, would you go back to a back, back four at certain games, or <laughs> would you? Because you played yeah, obviously I'm, on the same team as me. Yeah. When you had the back four, Dixon, Winterburn, Boff, everybody knew their jobs. Everyone got on with it every week. You knew you understand each other. Yeah. Or would you say, well, no, you've got to be adapting uh, to different sort of games. But even that side, played. even our side, Ray, adapted mm. in Europe at times. You know, to to get more people forward, so you can actually press the ball a lot higher. Mm. So I think that the squad's flexible enough. I've, I think we've seen the team function with a back four and with a three. I think Harry Maguire functions better in a three yes. because he's protected and he better get protected to, mm. he better get protected tonight. Yeah, it's amazing that Eric Dyer as well because I thought he's, with he's, the form he was in, he's got no chance of getting yeah. back in that England squad. But he's, he's been brilliant. Form again, he has yeah. been yeah. brilliant. He has been excellent. Fair, fair play to him. Yeah, and. Uh, but here's here's the here's the funny thing. He's a form player. Ben White's been doing great at yeah. Arsenal's a form player. Doesn't get in. So look, at the end of the day, the manager he doesn't have a lot of time with the with the players. He's got to go with his gut instinct, and it, it's either going to be a blessing or a curse for for. Do you know what? It's, it's a great point when you think about Harry been in when he's not playing, and Ben is playing really well on a very very impressive Arsenal team at the moment. Mm. It's a, it's a big shout this is leaving Ben out and putting Harry in. listen I'm, I like Harry Maguire don't get me wrong but just what Gareth said you know I picked foreign players but Henry Winter pointed out he meant foreign players for England not club and <laughs> yeah. I'm like really uh, I'm, I'm, I wasn't quite sure about that one you know I think if you're playing for your club and playing well you've got a great chance of being picked so that's why I was surprised that Ben's not in it mm. well yeah he can't play no, he's very versatile isn't he Ben White He's, I don't think he'd get back into centre half position at the moment. Way Saliba's playing, yeah, yeah. But he's he's done a really good job at right back. So you know that's, that's another option. But Gareth's got so many right backs. How many right backs he got? And and the ones he's he got, he's only more right backs. Hell, Ray. And the ones he's got can also dovetail as a right side centre half. Yeah, Carl Walker, yeah. And, and James Reese James can play there. Yeah. So that mm. probably is why Ben White didn't get picked. What about so Gareth is and listen, I'm, I, I hate talking about managers and jobs, but. Gareth is two years in his contract after the World Cup. Um, how far do England have to get in the World Cup, Kev? Ray thinks, you know, it looks like it could be a quarter-final against France if things go to plan. 
Would that be good enough? If, let's say they got beat by France in the quarters. Would that be good enough? Or would be people get them out, less of a change? Because I made the point earlier, the talent he's got under him, the kids coming through, the under-21s last night, great win in Italy. Yeah. There's a fantastic pool to pick from for the uh, an England manager. Well, when you look at the last World Cup, the Euros, mm. the next one is you've got to win something. Yeah. So I think I the passage way though, wasn't it, in the World Cup? The, the, the hardest thing they got Croatia Ray, and they got knocked out. Ray, <laughs> you know as well as I do, you've got to beat what's in front of you. Of you, right. you don't, you don't influence, no. you know the the route, but you've got to get there. Got to the Euros, didn't win it. So now, obviously, look if you if you look at stats, Gareth Southgate's the second most impressive England manager. Mm. But with the pool of players that he's got, very good. Yeah. He's got he's got to win something and. Whether there's France in the way or Spain, you've got to Is it to the man of the performance as well? I think so. Because it's negative. He's been negative at times, hasn't he? When when Italy made changes in that Euro final, he didn't really adapt no, to no. changing it himself. Yeah. Yeah. If, if yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, well, let me put it out there for the line. Let's take a few calls, eh, shall we? We don't take too many calls but on the show, but we will uh, today. So the number 03717223344. Let's hear from you. Gareth has two years left in his deal as England manager. How far... Does Gareth have to take England the World Cup that would keep him there to the end of his contract? Or are you, Ray mentioned there, maybe he doesn't take enough chances, not adventurous enough. How do you feel about it? How far do England have to go for him to keep his job? 03717-22-3344. The lines are open. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.